for what it's worth, you made a mistake. You said you're sorry. It's not like you, you know, you sawed someone's head off with a rusty butter knife. Everybody makes mistakes. You got to forgive yourself and you just got to move on, man. You know, I mean, you can't, you can't get caught up in that shit. Like you just got to forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. And just hope that they ideally people will move on as well. Yeah. But if they don't move on, then you just, I mean, it is what it is, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, that's the other thing I ask you your age. The one thing that gives you when you're a little older, you get a little more perspective on things, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And, and I think we all suffer from a kind of emotional myopia. You know, we think that the things that are, have such gravitas now, they actually don't really have a lot of gravitas, subspecies eternitatis, you know, like outside the system looking down. Hmm. I walked by in Griffith once and then I, I met. You just randomly walked by and saw us. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that crazy? Pause. <laughs> this is a pretty popular place to walk. <laughs> uh, all right. Do you know how the game is played? Uh, no. I'll tell you. So you make any claim you want. I make any claim we want. And then we just move to a mat. Okay. And you and can, can I write anything? No, not yet. Oh. Okay. You can move at any time you want, but the game only has one single rule to it, or not move at all. Okay. The rule is simple. You can't do this. I see. Okay. And and if you say something I agree with, that I can't do this. I have to commit to a full mat. Okay. Cool. And you can't do this, and you can't do this. It's truly so simple, but you'd be amazed how many people do not do that. Okay. And then, what is your name? Peter. Peter. Okay. Cool. I'm Dex. Dax? Yes, nice to meet like you. Like Ezra Dax from Deep Space Nine. Okay, I don't know, yeah. Oh, okay, what do you want to talk about? Um, maybe that, maybe like forgiveness, like how to okay. balance like what, uh, what makes someone deserve forgiveness versus when is it not deserved? Such as if someone's made a mistake. Okay, so I'm gonna make, make that into a claim. So I would say that if you've made a mistake, then you can, achieve forgiveness if you prove you're taking steps to work on it. Uh, although it can be a messy road, figuring out the you exact You can steps. or should? You can achieve forgiveness? Or you should achieve it. There's a big difference. Uh, oh, maybe should. Okay, so let's restate the claim. So you should be able to achieve forgiveness if you are actively taking steps to work on it. The, the ca caveat is that I understand different people forgive in different ways. Okay. All right. So now we're going to move. I got to process the claim. Say it one more time. Read, write the claim down again. So say it again. You, sh you should be able to achieve forgiveness if you prove that you're like actively working on something and uh, like trying to take those steps. And if you succeed at doing it. You, of course, you have to succeed at taking the right steps to prove you're remorseful and like are not going to make the same mistake. <laughs> Slightly through. Okay, cool. So then I don't have to go to one of those. No, you, you go to anyone oh, you want. I just I'd say strongly agree. Uh, why do you strongly agree? Because that's my opinion. But what, 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 but you think your opinion is true? Yes. So what is it about your opinion that makes it true? I think that if someone uh, like has a, has made a mistake, and uh, if they've uh, noticed what variety of harm they've caused, like as long as it's not like actually like like a murder or something like well, that. Well, that's know? exactly why I was standing on this line. Oh, okay. So then, because I was going to say it depends on what they do. True. True. Okay, that's a good point. So, if it's something where someone sort of has like like um like sort of tried to like if someone has like told a lie solely to sort of protect some people while also trying to the motives are somewhat good but also could be there's like an aspect that's like if someone's told a lie that's like um to make themselves look good but also to protect someone else's privacy uh so i'll i'll, I'll throw it so my friend just told me recently that she was at a party and she said to her friend, when you see this guy, don't tell him this thing. Okay. And her friend walked over to this guy and said, my friend told you if I see you not oh. to. Okay. So okay. that in the context of forgiveness there. And, and then she's like, holy shit, I'm so sorry. I, I made a mistake. Then I would be on strongly agree. So she told the truth in a very extreme way rather than a lie. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I brought up the story. Or if Travis over there or Reed 
pulled up a a, uh, a butcher knife and started like you know getting medieval on people in in the park here mm -hmm. the forgiveness would be hard for me yeah yeah for sure so that makes sense and how would you rank it if someone like so let's make a new claim now okay i see so you should forgive people if they haven't done a very extreme thing that where it's like they aren't going to do it again if but of course you have to see that in action is that right yeah so you 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 should forgive people if they haven't done an extreme thing i uh, yeah i'm applying it very specifically like if someone lies to you should forgive people for lying you should forgive people for lying if it's to protect someone's privacy or if they're doing it to make themselves look good maybe uh, those are two different so true. do we need the or there mm. so you should so for example let me give you an example if somebody says to me so okay this is i think a really good rule for relationships you should assume if you're if reed tells me something my default is i'm not going to tell anybody else unless he explicitly says to me you can tell other people but if okay. reed told me something he's like listen i slept with this girl mm -hmm. Um, and, but you know, it, he told me that as a confidant and this other woman approached me and said, you know, I'm really interested in Reed. I just need to know if he slept with my friend. I wouldn't say, oh, sure. I would say, well, why don't you ask Reed? Mm hmm. Uh, okay. So can I give you a, an example that's in my mind? Sure. Can you, can you make into a claim? I think so. Okay. Is it, is it helpful for me to give the example in my mind and you can help me make it into a claim? Sure. So I've had someone in so i have an audience an online audience and i had to stop making content for them for a while i needed to have an explanation but i couldn't give the full specific explanation because it involves someone else's privacy of someone who had become sick so i kind of made up a version that expressed i couldn't be be on online as much as i wanted to and i made the mistake of saying it in a way that was like at the same time, some aspects of it made me look better than if I had just said a miscellaneous lie. Yeah. So I think that maybe ideally I would achieve, I would achieve forgiveness if I can prove that I'm fully remorseful and will not do that again. Maybe. I get, so why would you care at all? About what? Achieving forgiveness? Yeah. Because I know I disappointed certain fans. Okay, so. And maybe like did damage yeah, to the rep, rep, reputation via lying. So I would really need to know, I don't want to get overly personal. I've oh, never, for sure. never met, but I would really need to know the context. Um, Like I need to drill down on it. If you don't want to tell me, uh, let's do let's do a couple more claims before oh, you tell okay. me. True. Let's do. Um, mm, those are good. One should be more likely to forgive if the offender commits to change. Mm. One should be more likely to forgive if the offender I commits see. to change. I agree. Are we both on agree? Yes. Okay. Because it says more likely to forgive right. if they commit, but then you have to show that you're actually going to take that action. Right. And if then you, then I wouldn't forgive you if you don't actually change. Okay. What about, um, YouTube creators should care what the subscribers think of them. Uh, I agree, but not every one of them, but not, that's why I'm not strongly agree. Oh, you. You, 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 okay, so you do kind of agree. Slightly agree. Okay. I mean, sometimes you have to say things because there's a lot of audience capture going on. Yes. And so sometimes you'd have to give an opinion about something that your audience, like, look, I'm going to do an interview here while I'm in LA. I'm going to do a few of them, but one of them I told the woman that I need to be able to speak openly and honestly about things that may offend your audience. And if that's not of interest to you, then I'm just not interested in doing it. And okay. she said, yes, I was a little surprised by that actually. Um, 
but that's how you maintain your integrity. And were you just specifically trying to say like offensive things you were thinking of or were they actual opinions you had? There are opinions I have about the, I, I, it's oversimplified, but the, the, you know, you know what woke means? Yes, yes. The anti-woke space is becoming an echo chamber that pushes Christian nationalism and it's, it's starting to engage in many of the behaviors that woke people, in which woke people engage. And I told her I wanted to tell that to her audience, which is very conservative. And then you would say you're woke or not woke? Read am I woke or not woke? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not woke. But I, I, told, I told her that her audience is not woke. Okay. That I need to say. So I think in, in order in, for this question, for YouTube subscribers, they have to care a little bit about you in a sense, but they, but they need to know that you're a person who's has integrity and they will say things even if it pisses them off because you believe them to be true. That makes sense. I think that um, my goal is typically to inspire people. Um, What's and, your channel about? I'm kind of like a vlogger and then I'll do like documentaries sometimes too and then short films and stuff. And generally I just try to try to share my life, but also just spread any kind of positive message if I have one in mind. Yeah. So that's why I think it's important, more important for me to care what people think, because I don't think that you're going to get inspired by someone you don't uh, like. And you're not going to get inspired by someone who has lied to you. So your goal is to inspire? Uh, ideally, and sometimes just to make good creativity, like if I have a good, ah. idea, like a good short film or something. So I have a, I have a, I have a claim then. Um, it is important for my YouTube audience to see me as I really am. So we agree on this one too? Yeah. Okay, true, yeah. But it doesn't mean strongly agree in that, you know, like... It's okay to like... Like I keep my personal life se a, yes. pro a secret too, yes. sure, but I keep it to my personal life. For sure. I never talk about my kids or my relationship or anything. So then what about when the intersection of your personal life has interfered with your ability to be there for your audience and like create as often, then that's maybe a reason you might lie to your audience and say, hey guys, I had to be gone for six months because um, like, because I was doing this like work on this project and not actually because say you were doing some, you're, you and your wife had to travel somewhere or something. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally w wouldn't have done that okay. because then you, you would have lost some of your integrity with your audience. That's what I'm facing at the moment. Okay, but, I, so I guess the question is, why did you do that? Uh, I guess because I wanted to, I felt really bad about not posting for so long and I couldn't really update people. So then I was like, okay, then I will return. I'll share like a story that I felt like if I was like just very vague about the situation, people would just think I'd been lazy for six months. Um, but really it was just a complex situation. So I just- Was it a mental health situation? No, no, it was oh. just someone else was sick and for their privacy, I just didn't share details about it. How come you didn't just say, my friend is sick and I need to help him or her? I think that it, I just felt like people wouldn't believe me if it was that vague. So you must tell your audience everything about yourself. A lot. Um, and so I think the problem was in retrospect, af after I posted it, I've seen people were just super supportive. Um, but I, I also just kind of, I said that the reason I was gone was just some stuff that like, like I was actually just helping a lot of people and stuff. And that wasn't exactly oh, true. Oh, I see. Yeah. So why did you do that? Because I thought that if I'm going to say like a false reason that also shows that like I had a legit reason to be gone, like I might as well say something that could inspire people at the same time. And I know it's a mistake. Oh. So like I, if we were to say, is that a good thing to do? I would go over to strongly disagree now. But a few weeks ago, uh, when I was not thinking as quickly, I did that. Okay, let's do this claim. And I, 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 yeah, go ahead. I'm just, I'm trying to do everything I can to, I, I will definitely make sure to take the action to make it right. But it's like, you, we'll, we'll just see, time will tell. I'm paying the consequences as I should, I guess. Okay, well, br br bracket that. I have a comment on that. Let's do this claim. I feel shameful for not creating content for more than one week. 
I feel shameful for not creating content for not more than one week. Okay, I will go to strongly disagree too. Okay, I'm indefinite this year, so I'm putting that side. I think I just, it was like maybe shameful for not making contact content for six months. Okay, I feel shameful for not making content for more than six months. Okay. Uh, yes. I would feel shameful if I never made content again ever in my life. Uh, if I didn't give an explanation, then yes. Like if I had a good reason, I would be okay with that. Okay. So I'll go to neutral. Okay. All right. Um, because I have Patreon I, followers and stuff. So I have another question. I have another claim. My online friends are more important than my real life friends. Oh. Well, I have an, uh, yeah, go ahead. It, I, an online friend can still be just as good as a real friend. I think, unless you mean fans, like in, the, in general, maybe just specifically, because sometimes I've had a really good friendship with someone I've only talked to on the internet. So maybe neutral again. Did yeah, you move to that one? I moved because of something that you said. I moved because I can think of people I've never met, which just reminded me I got to call this guy. I can think of people I've never met that I'm very, fr I would think I would use the word friendly. I think that's fair to say. Uh, here, here's one. Um, my fans are more important than my real life friends. Um, to, like to me? To you. Like to, to my happiness and stuff? Uh, just however you want to interpret that. Um, okay, I'll go to disagree, yeah. But I value like, my fans, but it, since it's such a broad thing, it's hard to say like, like if you were just talking about one specific person and I had a friendship with them, that would be different. But yeah, so I would say just disagree. I think that n nothing is more important than your real life friends and people you care about. I have a good relationship with my audience. Typically, uh, t typically yes. Uh, uh, the majority, yes, but I I have recently just disappointed a lot of fans. It is more important that I don't disappoint my fans than that I don't disappoint my best friends. Uh, I don't. So it's more important to 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 not disappoint your friends. My my best friend, my oh, best friend. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So back to your situation. I think it calls for teasing out the. So okay. Relation. Go ahead. What would you do in that situation? You have. You're a vlogger. You post. You post uh, about weekly. You've been posting very consistently all year, and then you have to go away for a reason. You need to keep private, and so. I then would say I need to go away. When you come back, I have, I have a personal matter to attend to. And then when you're ready to come back. I'm a big fan of telling people the truth, though, so. What if Which you is, did tell a lie, though? Oh, uh, what if, uh, I, would, I would have to, I would really stop to think about um, two things. I would think about why did I do that? And I would think about whether or not I do that in other aspects of my life. And I don't know you, so I'll be like ruthlessly honest with you. Even if I did know you, I'd be ruthlessly honest with you. I would think I had misprioritized my moral values. Maybe. So. Yeah. Okay. So once I realize that, then what do I do? Uh, well, you do the only thing you can do. Contrition is always a good thing. What is that? Uh, just, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I did. I did that. I made a mistake. But I would also go beyond that and say and say donate to charity. No. I would say this is why I did that and um, I would try to work out if I did that in other arenas of my life because it could so do you make all your your income from YouTube uh, yes okay I think previously I have a couple times said something online to make myself look better and I've like apologized yeah so that's all you can do true I mean I, I wouldn't so here's what I think. A very good friend of mine. And then sh show it through action. Yeah, a very you good don't do it again. friend of mine said this to me. She, she said she thinks that a lot of the negative comments are insincere and a lot of the positive comments are insincere. So they're like truncated. Um, 
And so, you know, a lot of the hate you get, I'm sure it's just people just, you know, just banging stuff out on their mm. keyboard. I wouldn't take it that seriously. But the flip side of that is a lot of the praise, I wouldn't take that that seriously either. So that was part of it. Like the video I posted in my return, Yeah. it got way more views than I normally get. It got way more praise than I usually get. People oh. were saying like I was a saint and stuff, like because they, they felt really good about everything I said. And that's kind of what caused me to come out and say, I just couldn't take that many compliments knowing that part of it was not true. So I felt too guilty to hold that in anymore. So that's why I came out and made the video where I was like, actually, I here's what I did wrong. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm sorry. And then I've made a follow up video kind of like, hey, guys, I uh, I I'm trying to work on this and have conversations with people. And what were the what's the feedback from that? Mixed mixed. So I'm in the process still. of. I think that I am genuinely know I made a mistake. So I understand that people might just need a little time to see that I'm actually going to prove it. However, I think because I received so much praise, people are extra hard on me because it's like, OK, we give you that many compliments and you got extra views. So you need to maybe pay the price a little longer. So I've gotten pretty bad dislikes on this latest video, a couple of videos. And would you, ah, I have a new claim. I am a sincere person. I would say, I, I would say agree, but if I have told a couple of lies like that, I feel like people will roast me if I go to where you are. New claim. Um, uh, I often feel anxious. Um, yeah, same as you. Okay, get on that side because I'm deaf in that ear. Oh, okay. Um, so, I'm thinking here, now we don't know each other. How old are you? 32. And how old are you? You're 57. Okay. So you're a young guy. You got your whole life ahead of you. So I'm trying to tease out when I talk to you, like the way you distinguish between the on online reality and this reality. Mm -hmm. And for you, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm thinking it's for you, there's not a lot of distinguishing between those two things. What do you mean? Like, for you, kind of being in that YouTube space is equally real to you than being with me here in the park. Um, like the value of relationships and, and like audience relationship and stuff. Yeah, audience relationship, uh, relationships, community, etc. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, like if I had to choose one, I would just choose in real life. Um, uh, but I think they're both awesome. Yeah, so for, for what it's worth, you made a mistake, you said you're sorry. It's not like you, you know, you sawed someone's head off with a rusty butter knife. Everybody makes mistakes. You gotta forgive yourself and you just gotta move on, man. You know? I mean you can't you can't get caught up in that shit. Like you just gotta forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. And just hope that they ideally people will move on as well. Yeah, but if they don't move on then you just I mean it is what it is, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean that's the other thing I ask you your age. The one thing that gives you, when you're a little older, you get a little more perspective on things, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And and I think we all suffer from a kind of emotional myopia. You know, we think that the things that are, have such gravitas now, they actually don't really have a lot of gravitas, subspecies eternitatis, you know, like outside the system looking down. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you were getting a lot more dislikes, yeah, would you feel, what would you do? Dude, I don't think, I, I know you don't know me. I have so many people who fucking hate me. Why do they hate you? They just truly despise me. I mean, I have to like, what do I'll you... answer the question in a second, but I mean, it's a level of craziness now. I've had to literally move out of my home. Do you do bad stuff? A lot of people think this is bad. I mean, if I were to say that the number one reason, I'm pretty vocal about things, like I'm against, um, people under 18 transitioning. Oh. Uh, that's probably the number one reason people hate me. Okay. I've I, lost good friends. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I don't agree with that. Um, 
just to just in case yeah just to but, but you don't hate me no i mean no. you would need to know my reasoning right yeah yeah i don't hate you yeah so i mean i've been vocal about that i'm i'm pro free speech um i'm uh i think a lot of this dei stuff is total nonsense it's not just D nonsense D diversity I. equity and inclusion mm. is a kind of madness okay um I'm a big fan of reason. I'm an atheist. Oh, very few people actually hate me for that anymore. But uh, yeah, but no, I mean, I've threatened. I have, I mean, I've, that's why we tweet out the location at the last minute. So people oh, don't okay. come and, you know, kill us. Um, yeah, so, so I wouldn't worry about it. You know, when you get older, you get to, some perspectives on things. And uh, the most important thing is your integrity. Can I share a message to you can anyone? You can do anything you want, man. You can cut it if you'd like, but uh, I apologize again to my audience and I will through action show that I uh, will make a change and and what does that change look like that I won't like tell a similar lie in the future in the future I've or, I, an, or, or how about well not just a similar lie but any any lie true true no lies in the future and um, and if you and if someone asks you a question how about this how about we I help you craft your promise right now to your audience uh, if it fits yeah if yeah. It, I'll, I'll yeah and you push back if it. you don't like it sure. we'll workshop okay. it so, so you're not gonna lie to people anymore yes how about this one this is a big one you're not gonna pretend to know things you don't know not gonna, what you won't pretend to know things you don't know i don't think i do that though okay so then you're already they, then it's easy to it's easy to promise that okay but I would, that will go without saying, I think, in, in the like formal okay. apology. Or well, how about this? You're not going to pretend to not know things you know. I don't think I do either of those things. So I think okay. I would just probably stick it to like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Okay. And, uh, and also I will make everything right. Like if I did any harm to anyone, I'll make it right. And like I, if I've disappointed anyone, you'll you'll. How do you think it. you harmed people by that? Because they looked up to you as like a mentor? Yes. Yeah, yeah. If someone's like typically like felt really inspired by that video and then they're like, OK, actually, never mind. He didn't actually help people like he said he did. Um, then I think you're taking this way too seriously. True. Well, I'm not like mega, mega stressed about it. But just since we're like in the conversation about it, like it's the most important thing on my mind right oh, now. Sure, well, but I know there's more though. important things in the world for sure. No, no. But for you in your life, like, is this the, the most important thing in your life now? Uh. Um, no, but the second, second or third. I think you're being way too hard on yourself. Um, well, even, even that, with that said, I think it's important for me still, even if I, just since I know I did make a mistake. Oh, like, for sure. And we all make mistakes. We true. all make mistakes. All true, of true. us. I make mistakes. Do you have anyone that you want to apologize to? Do I have anyone I want to apologize or, to? I, I don't know. That's a forced thing since I'm more. I just no, let me think if I want to apologize to anybody. Or any lies you want to say sorry about? No, I don't, I don't, I don't tell lies. Have you ever lied? Ever? I guess maybe a long time ago when I was a kid or something. When did you stop lying? I don't know. I never thought about it. I just life is just much easier if you tell the truth. It's just it's just easier. What if someone says, um, "Do you like like do do you like this outfit?" No, I don't. What what did you feel when you last time you told a lie, and what how did you make it right? You can't think of it. I honestly cannot think of the last time I lied thing that's good that's that's actually really good i mean can you say i i just it's just not it's just my life is just like i just don't live like that true okay that's good uh i mean i've made mistakes i've made a lot of mistakes yeah i need this guy in the head pretty bad by accident oh we're, no we we're doing well, jujitsu and i just anyone would forgive that because it's it's an accident whereas one that you thought about beforehand and decided to do is harder to forgive you're like i know this is going to be a mistake but i'm going to knee him in the head because it will feel good. yeah no it was a total accident yeah and he was pretty pissed out i would have been pissed too i mean it was but he rolled into it but anyway um 
No, I mean, I think I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about my life. I'm living clean right now. Cool, cool. I'm living clean. If I died right now, if some fucking lunatic shot me in the head, I would go out clean. It's a good feeling. Um, so, are we good? You want anything else going on? Um, what was this for? Oh, if we if if you were going to be strongly agree and strongly disagree, we had an exercise. But listen, I think you're being hard on yourself, man. I really do. Okay. I would well, I would just I would. Okay, thank you. I mean, I'm just telling you that. I mean, and you, you uh, seem like a sincere guy. Thank you. You made a mistake. Shit happens. People make mistakes. Don't and beat yourself up. For I that. appreciate that, and it's also valid to be disappointed by me if you are. And I will. I and through action, you will see that I'm genuinely dis. Uh, remorseful and that's all you can do yeah yeah i mean what, what, what is the um in donating to i might donate to charity too i was thinking yesterday i don't think you need to donate to charity but i still might i don't think what charity would you donate to kind of like a, some charity that i the of the group that i said that i was helping kind of oh, well i mean if that really you know if that if makes I you feel good got then, a lot of praise for doing that and people don't know i didn't actually do it well now i can actually have done it if i donate maybe yeah well if that makes you feel go good you should i think you're doing, <laughs> i don't think you need to go to therapy i, I think you're fine okay because it was it, like it, it's not as if you like molested somebody it's like you yeah. made a mistake and i mean you you know you said something that wasn't untrue okay but well, i've gotten some people DM me being like, oh, I was a compulsive liar. And like, then I'm like, oh, does that mean that I am too? If that well, I mean, are you? Okay, well, that'd be another issue. Are you? No, but I have had a couple times on my channel where I've told a lie. And now I'm like, do, do does that mean that I should? People were saying they thought it would be good if I went to therapy then. But I, I, may, I maybe I won't. Maybe I will or maybe I won't do that. But I'll look into it. Yeah, now you have me thinking because now, now, now you have me thinking about uh, lying. Uh, well, I don't, I'm not a compulsive liar in my opinion. I have a claim. Um, life is easier if you don't lie. Uh, and now that assumes a kind of stable context, like not mm. if you're in a Nazi regime. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I would put go to agree. I've seen firsthand this week, this past couple weeks, that my life would be a lot easier if I hadn't lied. And How come you're not on strongly agree? Well, because still, like, if someone said to me, like, hey, um, like, if a four-year-old said, hey, what happened to my cat? And I knew that the cat oh. got ran over, I'd say, oh, it went to heaven. Like, an, or that it, like, we had to donate it to someone. And you wouldn't say, ask your mom or dad? Well, if it was my kid. I don't have a kid, but if it was, I mean. Really, you wouldn't say it got hit by a car? No. Maybe once the kid was like eight. Or maybe I would. I don't I actually haven't thought about it. But maybe there's some part times where it's okay. To, or like if someone's like, hey, I'm going through this really hard thing, but I don't want people to know. Can you not tell them that? Then I would not tell them. But that wouldn't be lying. I guess if someone else said to you, is this person going through a really hard thing? But even then you could say, well, just ask the person. Okay. I mean, I, I'm, look, like if someone said to you, it's the famous example when the Nazis come into the French classrooms, they're like, where are, where are your Jews? You're like, and you know, they're like two people, Jews. like, well, I don't know. We don't have any Jews as far as I know. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not talking about a circumstance like that. Okay. <laughs> but I think to protect some like people's feelings is okay too sometimes for me. Is it? I don't know. Cause often it m may not protect people's feelings. So how do you, okay. Often I it actually may, might make it worse. Can, can I ask you a You can ask me literally one? anything you want in the whole world. So is my claim is, wait, it's kind of slipping my mind. It's important to be a, a good quality YouTuber, uh, like, as opposed, as opposed to what? Um, as opposed to, uh, like, I, it's just important to me. Okay, it's important to me to make, uh, to be the best person I can be. Oh, oh yeah, of nice, course, nice. it's important to everyone. Okay. How about, um, it is, um, it is important to protect people's feelings. 
uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, like if somebody asks you a question that you would modify your response, like a so kid, like a kid who's pet got hit kind of thing. Yeah, I guess you could say that or a friend, if a friend asked, like everything I've said to you today, I haven't thought about your feelings one iota. I see. I've said it because I thought it was true and I thought it would help you. But I, I don't really, your, your feelings are a secondary consideration. Yeah, okay. Because if you live with integrity, you don't have to really worry about your feelings. Gotcha. And you're doing everything you can do now to make up for the mistake. That's all you can do. True, true, true. I mean, yeah, I anything I else should be un unreasonable. I, I am doing everything, but I have to show it to people too. And yeah, it's a, it's at some point you, 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 yeah, it's at some point. And I guess the question, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so listen, you're a good guy. Wouldn't beat yourself up. You made a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. Shit happens, it's and life, man. It's a, it's a good learning lesson in life. Right? For sure, thank you. And I'll say I apologize again. And I was just walking by today, came across this, and I think it was a good thing because now I've had a lot of good conversation about this very topic that's been on my mind. So thank you for- You feel better about, about it? it? Uh, I feel like I have more to think about. Oh. So that's good, which is good. All right, cool. Well, thanks, man. Thank I, I hope that helps. I hope your that helps. Peter. Time. Peter Dex. Dex. Yes, and I never use this, but that's, that's okay. okay. You're a good man. Thank you. Um, and it's cool to run into you again.